Welcome back to Bad X Bourbon. I'm Bobby. All right, number four in the Raven Wing Saint Sample Series. We got the TX Sherry Cast Finish. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to it in two ways. Maybe looking forward to it a little bit less than I originally was because that bottle and bond was so terrible in my opinion, but I'm looking forward to it because it's got to be better than that bottle and bond. Oh my gosh, that was bad. I usually like sherry cast finished stuff. These are PX sherry cast finished. Ooh, that's wrong. That's 65 bucks. That was the bottle and bond there. Let's fix that. Sixty-five bucks. They have a port finish and a sherry cast finish. PX sherry cast. So, like I said, I'm looking a little bit more forward to this one. After that last one, it's got to be better than that one. That was horrible. There's a lot of uh, bad stuff I could say. I'm not gonna say it. Love the TX brand. I, I hadn't had anything I, that I hadn't liked from TX until I had that ball and bond. Sorry, Raven. Like I said, you and I need to talk about that one. So, this is four-year-old bourbon. Finished for eight months in a PX Sherry Cast out of Mexico. And they said, what I read up on this was that four weeks after the wine was dumped out of the barrels, they were able to ship the barrels up to Fort Worth, Texas. That's pretty quick, I would say. Ooh, it's sweet on the nose, actually. I'm, man, I was so disappointed out last one. This has got to be better. All right, my Glenn stash straightened up there. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of sweetness on the nose. I did read up this is 101.6 proof. It is a lot sweeter on the nose than the Ball and Bond was. Still something, man. There's some underlying there. I think I'm looking for it now. Man, Garrison Brothers got me. TX was going all good until about a video ago with that single barrel. This has a nice, sweet smell up front, though. Let me go ahead and get some on the palate. Dang it, that sweetness is there up front, but I'm getting that Texas crud again. Ah, TX. It's got more burn than the last one for sure. I'm getting some chocolate on here. Some chocolate, some sweetness, but I'm getting that Texas funk. Dang it, TX, what are you doing to me? I'm liking the finish. I just don't like anything else about it right now. Let me get a little bit more. The viscosity is decent. Yeah, but I'm gonna try to stay positive about this one. I like this the sweetness up front. There's a little bit of finish there. There's some chocolate. I just don't like that Texas funk that I'm getting on this. I got way too much of that and a bunch of other stuff on that ball and bond. Yeah, there's a sweet nose, but it's got that funk underneath it, man. It's like it's high, trying to hide it. Anyway, let me get this last little tidbit of it. No, it's good and bad. It's better than the last one. I'm getting a, a nice little sherry coating on the, the roof of my mouth right now, but there's that funk in there. I just, uh, it doesn't do it for me. Getting a little, a little bit of spice, some vanilla, that sherry in there, a little, little bit of oak, but there's that funk in there. I just, ah, uh, no, not doing it. I ain't doing it, not doing it. So give us some axes. I'm going to one and a half with this one. One and a half, people. It's a little bit better than that ball and bond. So I gotta give it a little bit better rating, all right? One and a half axes, people. And there's my half. That was TX PX <laughs> Sherry Cask Finish. 101.6 proof. $65 right there. That was number four in the Raven Wing Saint Sample Series. Raven Wing Saint Sample Series. If you're not follow him, go follow him on Twitch, Instagram, TikTok. That's it. What do you like to say on his channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time.